guys, Bart from TST Industries here. Welcome to TST Garage. In this episode, I have a GSX-8S with me. We will be installing the Womit Tech bar ends on here. We already have a whole host of different crash protection components, and now we are installing the bar ends that are of aluminum and Delrin construction. The OEM ones are pure steel. You go down, the bike does feel all the energy of that crash transmitted through from the point of impact upward. So what we're attempting to do is soften that blow a little bit through the use of that Delrin component at the end. And then all the aluminum parts are a little bit more lightweight than this behemoth here. So that'll just cut down on the weight a little bit and, and uh, also provide a nice CNC machined anodized look. These are sold by default with the black ring here. If you take off the cap, which we have to do anyway for the insulation process, you'll notice that the ring is able to be slipped off and we do sell different colored rings. For this particular bike, we have a blue, white, and black theme. So black or blue will work. We also have silver, so that would work. But check out our website, tstindustries.com. We do offer several different colors of this that will possibly make a really good match for your particular build. For us, we're gonna go with the with the blue. So, like I said, disassemble it, take the black ring off, put this one back on, and now that'll be ready to go onto the bike. At the very end, it gets capped off with these components. First, we will need to remove the OEM setup off the bike. In there, we have a 10 millimeter Allen that will need to get cracked loose. Mine is pretty loose because I've had these in and out several times already. If this is a brand new bike for you, you will probably have to give it a little bit more elbow grease than I just did. So don't be surprised if it takes a little bit more oomph. Let's get these parts out of here. All right. So now I'm gonna take the inner boss from our new Womatech kit, start the threads by hand. Then I'm gonna grab 22 millimeter socket and we're gonna go ahead and turn this all the way in. Once I bottom this out, I snug it up. Then the ring will go on if you're trying to get it on and it's not moving inboard. That means you have it reversed. It should go on nice and easy, just like that. Then we grab the Delrin cap with the inner screw, take a five millimeter Allen, get this threaded together. Now we just snug up this screw until you feel the Delrin component preloaded, or you could go to eight foot pounds of torque if you wanna use a torque wrench. Now this side's done. The right side is basically the mirror of what we just did here. The only thing to look for is making sure that we do not obstruct the action of the throttle. If we were to tighten this in somehow and it obstructs the throttle, it'll be an unsafe vehicle. So just an extra check that we need to do at the very end of this installation. The physical mounting process is done. Now I just need to make sure that the throttle springs back and it does, so we are done here. All right guys, in about three minutes you saw me go from the OEM bar ends to our new beautiful Womatech Delrin and aluminum bar ends here. It's a very simple job. If you like what you see, check out tscindustries.com. We have these parts ready to go. They are available as a standalone kit or as part of our total protection pack that includes bar ends, frame sliders, fork slider, and swing arm spools. Thank you for watching. Ride safe. See you later.